It's 6.30 in the morning, and Connor starts his day with the usual blood glucose check. It's a bit high this morning, but Connor doesn't have time to think too much about this since he's running late. He quickly gets ready and sits down to eat breakfast. His wife Sarah made him oatmeal this morning, knowing that he's been trying to lose a little weight. Connor tries to remember what his dietician taught him about estimating carbs. He takes a guess at the number of carbs in the bowl of oatmeal and enters it in his new insulin pump. Connor's had his pump for two weeks now and is happy with how much easier it is to give insulin. Later that night, back at home, Connor remembers his doctor had scheduled a phone call with him the next day to see how he's been doing on his pump. He also remembered his doctor recommending he upload his pump information to CareLink software so Connor could review his own pump information before the phone call. Connor goes online and creates a new CareLink account. He then follows the steps on the screen to upload his pump information. When it finishes, Connor sees all of the reports he has access to. There are a lot of options, but he remembers his doctor told him to start by looking at just one. Connor chooses to look at the sensor and meter overview report. This two-page report will show Connor a summary of all his glucose, carbohydrate, and insulin information. Connor takes a look at the first page. There's a lot to look at, so Connor starts at the top, focusing on the graph with all the dots, the 24-hour meter glucose overlay. He looks at the dots that represent his blood glucose readings and sees if there are any patterns. He notices that most of his glucose falls outside of the gray shaded area which represents a normal range, 70 to 140 milligrams per deciliter. Connor had noticed, just today, that lately his morning sugar was high, usually above 180. Now that he can see many days all at once, he realizes he has a pattern of high blood sugars in the morning. Connor makes note of this so he can talk to his doctor about what he found. Next, Connor takes a look at the small boxes below the graph, the meal periods. These smaller graphs show the average blood glucose before and after each meal. He sees that his meal times seem to have high glucose readings as well. Is he eating too many carbs or does he need more insulin? Again, he makes a note to discuss this with his doctor. Connor reviews the statistics box next to the 24-hour meter glucose overlay that shows the averages of his blood glucose readings, carbohydrates he's eaten, and total amount of insulin he uses per day. He looks at the first number listed in the average blood glucose, BG, section, and notices it is slightly higher than what his doctor told him it should be. He also takes a look at the average daily carb section and wonders again if he's eating too many carbs. Below the carbs, he sees the averages for daily basal and daily bolus. He remembers from his pump training that his basal and bolus should be about split 50-50. He sees that it isn't quite there, so he notes that as well. Connor flips over on the second page of the report and sees that here his data is broken up into days. Quickly scanning through the daily graphs, he can clearly see that his glucose has been mostly falling outside of the normal range. Connor is looking forward to talking with his doctor tomorrow. Now he has information that he can share with his doctor and healthcare team that will help them adjust and improve his diabetes management. By using the sensor meter overview reports, he was able to clearly see his daily patterns, his highs that he noticed on a daily basis, but didn't realize were happening so often. With CareLink software, Connor feels like he is a partner in his diabetes management. <laughs>